Radio. What a movie. What We watched it last night. The word yeah. that came to my mouth or my mind was wow. Um, for you. Very complicated word, by the way. Well, yeah, no, but yeah. I could have just had to put it through. I had everyone <laughs> call me back home in, uh, in Dubai going, hey, what did you think of it? How is it wow? I just said wow, man. It was wow for me. Um, obviously, you've watched it. Is there a word? I actually have not. No? But, uh, not yet. Um, I'll see it probably in, in, in two days I'll see it. But, uh, you know, I think, I mean, I experienced it and I, I, kn I know the movie and I've seen pieces of it, you know, throughout the process. Um, I, you know, to me, yeah, I think what I loved about it when I read the script was just how ter constantly kind of terrifying it was, but in a really entertaining way, you know. I had fun reading it and then I had fun making it. It was just like a lovely group of people oddly having fun while we were making this terrifying movie. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, sometimes these things kind of come into your lap as an actor and you think, particularly with Daniel Spinoza, his vision for a movie that, that could have been one thing, but he made into something else, you sure. know. Uh, there's a real artistry in the film, which was really lovely to be around. Well, it's funny, you start to, when you see Calvin initially, when you see you, you're you like, oh, it's so cute, I want to take it home, and then gradually it just starts to, you start to get your feelings about this thing, and you're like, hold on a second, and then bang, it's, it literally comes out. I think he did a really good job trying to portray yeah. that, get, getting us as a viewer to like start to love this little, it's not even real. Yeah, I mean, I think that was the idea, was that you you sort of, you discover this thing, and it's it's a joy, and it brings joy, and then what happens is, is your own projections and your own fears end up creating this idea, okay. you know, and then it's how one responds to the other, you know. I, that's what I liked about it, like psychologically at least, was that, you know, all everyone related to it differently. And I had, as a character, a fascination with this thing. I felt like it was really beautiful, even when it was horrific. And um, and so I have a different kind of relationship than Rebecca's character, or Ryan's character, you know. And I think in a lot of things in life, that is sort of what happens. Sure. Is so often our projections and our own fears end up coming back to, you know, create this I you know, the idea of something and that's not truly the real idea uh floating in the how do you do it because oh, that's one thing that i've always wanted to know in the film when you're in when you're in space we, we're looking at you guys doing your things in the air how how well, is it on set as actors you know generally um we just we have our we we are we float when we want to so um that's what makes us so special we are um just an incredible group of people actors of you know very very much different and uh, and in a way, um, yeah, just uh, special beings. You Love know? That. So, um, you know, they just hired a very special group of people who know how to float. Love that. You know, and um, you're doing it right now. For me, it's is easy. It's amazing. No, no, I wouldn't bring it out. You, okay. you, know, you have to pay a lot of money for that. But um, no, I no, it was wires. It, we're on wires, and and it was really fun in that. You know, you you know. To simulate zero gravity within gravity took about five people for each person. You hmm. know, we had incredible acrobats and 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 stunt people working all the time, moving us here and there. Everything was very precisely choreographed, along with a camera crew um, and a ship and our production designer. As you know, sometimes the ship would move and the camera would be contradicting that movement, and then we would be contradicting the movement of the camera. We were all working together all the time to understand how we were moving. We had a movement coach telling us at different times, you know, you know, you would not move slowly to that point with your hand. Actually, your hand would move at the right wow. speed as you were floating. So, okay. you know, you got used to simulating this thing all together. You know? What do you want to say to the Middle East and Dubai? Uh, you have, have you been to Dubai? I have been to Dubai, What yeah. did you think? It was amazing, amazing. Like, uh, kind of my, I'll, I only have one word for it, it wow. Love it. <laughs> Jake Gyllenhaal, thank you so much. Yeah. We appreciate it. The movie's alive. Yes. Thank you, bro. Version Radio.